<laughs> Here we go. This is how to beat the Canaanites on the Near East. These are your victory conditions. Um, you got to have two crowns to win. And we're going to get them with the ornamental garden and the hanging garden, by the way. Um, so here we go, turn one. Well, you get all four of these tiles, because they all of these give you food without having to upgrade them. Okay, and then we, we get our science, 37 of it. Let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, you got that. Um, don't Everything don't checks over What you take here. We go get some power because sometimes Egypt will try and take your mountain in the south. So we're saving 12 power um, for next turn. And we're, we're going to buy that food bonus in the mountain. Here we go. Send it. Um, and we're saving our food to buy that mountain. You see? Yeah, and you're putting a little bit of uh, money still into science. Um, just Just to get 12. Um, so you can buy that power upgrade. Um, yeah. Because Egypt, well, in this case, they're not going to, but sometimes they do try and take your mountain off you. Um, now we're just going to crank it all into food. Here we go. And the plan is go as far south as fast as possible, I yeah, guess. That's the one. You hit the nail square in the head with that. <laughs> um, and take as much food as you can on the way. Uh, yeah, so we get a little bit of, um. yeah, get a little bit of, flag tech so you can claim those mountains easier yeah um, we're just going all the way south mate yeah how many flag techs are you taking in the mountains uh, you take one well or you take if you get the quest that gives you all three of them for free i take that otherwise i just get all three of them manually here's the plan we go south we build a, a house all the way at the south side of the map simple yeah. as and then we just gotta save up this, this in the top left you can see we want to buy these opportunities when we get the chance um, yeah, they're the good goldsmith. ones. I'll even save up my money to get goldsmith um, if I don't have the 50 gold for it. Because um, it really pays off real quick. And then the the one that you get money for not being threatened, there's like five of them. Any of them are good, but you only get them later on. Yeah. You know? And here we're just zoom, zoom zooming a bit forwards. Um, I, I built this little um, city here to try and defend my mountain land in the north a little bit, but you don't really need that. You just need the yeah. south one. It's just so that you don't get cut off too quickly before you um, you yeah. build the bottom one. Yeah, you know how it is. Got some power. Yeah, it always so. amazes me how quickly you can get food in this, this yeah, game. Yeah, it's wild. Was... And here, so our next plan, we need to get all these bonuses for reducing waste. Because um, then it makes it cheaper to buy your uh, your wind condition, which is the hanging gardens, you know, yeah. or any of the other ones. But the hanging gardens is the cheapest because it's six hundred, and that's like um, that's four hundred gold, you know. Yeah, but that's only if you hmm. only if you get the uh, save up enough. Yeah. So I got two of these now, which is pretty pog. The most important one is the wealth one. And we're still rolling on like the bonus money and the and stuff in the background, you know. Yeah. Um, so now we just gotta save up our, our money to buy our victory condition. You can see all the battle happening above us. We're kinda like, you know, slightly in the corner so they don't get us as good. You know. And are you still going with the strat where you don't build any military? Yeah, no military. Um what you could do is... Because it just build, antagonizes them. You can build one singular military quite early on. Because um, then you can sell it for 100 food later. Yeah, the classic. Um, here we go. So I've picked up the ornamental garden and I'm just holding it at the moment. Because um, I need the money for it. So once I got 400 gold, I'm just going to buy that bad boy. Um, and you're not doing anything. You're literally just pressing the end time yeah, button. Yeah, I've got zero like, spending. And I'm just saying, I did make a mistake here in that I didn't put my guy back on the, the edge. So I accidentally threatened Egypt, which means I'm going to lose a tile. Um, so here we go. So I've got enough money now, I think. Yeah, here we go. So now we got 600 um, science. We can buy our ornamental garden. This is a good card here to spend an army. I love that one. <laughs> it's good to get it earlier though, 
because the food is useful for upgrading your city. Gives you a bit more defense, you know? Yeah. So here we go. Now we're just saving up again. So we've done Ornamental Garden. Um, you have to be careful as your lands get small because you're... Um... You can't defend, like, at all when your land is small. Yeah, but also your food goes down and then you yeah, start true. losing pop again. Uh, it only really matters when you've got, like, nothing left. Because as long as you got these ones rolling with the money every turn and the food every turn, you're good to go. So here we go. Now we're just saving up for Hanging Garden. 300 wealth. Easy. And I'm just showing the, um, there's no one else is close to getting the 150 on the left. So, yeah, you know, we're golden. So well, the yellow's doing all right. Yeah, no, but like, they need so much more to win. So, you got plenty of time to work your way up, you know. Boom. Done. We did it. We did it. Ready. Easy peasy. Um, so, there you go. This Great. is actually the, a very simple and easy way to win. Works 100% of the time, 30% of the time. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, some things that trip you up, Babylon sometimes come and ruin your day. Yeah, they do sometimes e do that. They build a city. Egypt close sometimes. To yeah, Egypt sometimes come and ruin your day. Well, thank you for um, being in my video, CC. We'll see you in the next one. But goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>